Hi everyone, Johnny here from Martinez Wines. I'm here with Chris and Amy who've been working hard all day and it is Saturday night but it's like Friday night to them because they've got the next two days off. So we've got an array of things on the table. We've got some uh, black and tan from Nailers, some beer which is really nice. Uh, we've got the old Horgulus Clumbard Sauvignon which is super zippy Coach de Gascon. And then we've got this which is brand new. Um, I've not tasted it before tonight, it's PX. It's what I would call geeky PX, okay? If you love Manzanillo or Fino Sherry's, you're gonna like this. If you don't, keep well away from it. It's about 20 quid. But we're not here to show you that, that, that really. We're here to talk about something else. We're here to talk about um, a grape you may not have heard of and may not have tried, a grape called Tanat. Uh, Tanat, as with most grapes, originates from France, uh, Southwest France, I think. Um, it's um, you might know it from Madaran, which is a small village in France. All Madaran has to have 60% of Tanat in it. Um, it's also known as one of the grapes that has the most antioxidants. Is that right? Antioxidants. That, that's the right word, yeah, in it. So, yeah, so drink this and you live a long time. Okay, it's really, really good for you. But it's kind of been adopted uh, by another country. Um, Chris, you're the guy. You should know where this is from. Where's it from, Chris? It's from Uruguay. It's from Uruguay, that's right. It's from Uruguay. Um, they kind of a, a, a adopted it as a national grape. Now, if you're looking for something that's different but really good value, this is it. It's renowned for being quite big, quite tannic, like tannic, tannic. Um, although now they've made um, strange cross-freeze cross of it, cross-cuts of it, to make it less tannic um, and more acceptable. Um, I think in, in Madaran it is still quite tannic in a different style. I think in Uruguay it's a lot softer, but it's a big, big thing. You want some like grilled ribs or something with this. It's, it's a big wine. It's uh, notorious for having dark fruit and licorice, plums and all that sort of thing. So we've decanted it. This is 2015. It's got another five to ten years on it. You want plenty of age on these. And this is the um, Pisano family, family reserve. Comes in at uh, about 20 quid. It's got 20% off, brings it down to about 20 pounds. If you like Shiraz, Malbec, even a Chateau Neuf de Pat, sort of a spicy, grippy style of wine, you're gonna really like this. So we're all gonna try it together and I'm just gonna ask Chris and Amy for their, their thoughts on it. Okay, so here we go. Let's start with the nose. Dark fruit, isn't it guys? Really dark yeah, fruit, really kind of forest. Forest gatto fruit. Yeah, rumbles. Mm. Mm. And it is dark, isn't it? It's dark, it's got a nice grip, but still plenty of acidity. Um, dark fruit and licorice. It's really quite licorice, isn't it? Yeah, quite Bit black anti blackberry, blackberry, blackberry. Have another drink. Have another drink. Blackberry. 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 What, what do you think, Christopher? I think it's really smooth, even though the tannins are there. Yeah. So the, the structure's there, but it's yeah, it's, it's drinking. The really tannins well. are very very fine, aren't yeah. they? And you put that with a piece of steak really or something well. like that. Yeah, it's drinking really well. Really nice. So if you want something big and different and good value for money, this is it. Tanat. Like I say, it's on the twenty percent offers. Um, so I hope you all enjoy your weekends everybody and um, remember we've still got the Jenkins Place um, sparkling wine incentive going on so buy a bottle of that get a chance to win a weekend so a weekend a night down in Hampshire all expenses paid for two so please buy some Jenkins Place or aka champagne if you like uh, I think that's about it from uh, me and the workers cheers, cheers. Oh, yeah cheers <laughs>